right, you guys? Let's continue this through the conditionals. So we're on 4.4 logical operators. So let's start with the first exercise. Uh, this one is having you ask uh, whether you're an administrator, teacher, or student. So I'm going to go ahead and get that input first. Okay, and we're trying to determine if somebody has a key or not. So I'm going to call it role, and I'm going to say I want input where this is the question. Okay, and then I'm going to do if role equals equals something. Uh, we're going to print a message, and then we're going to go elif role is something else. <clears throat> and then we're going to see. So ask the student's role. They could be student, administrator, teacher. And remember, capitalization, okay. Um, yep, okay. And so it's saying administrators and teachers get keys. That's if, I'm going to put the quotes there. All right, that's if they do deserve a key. So if a role is administrator or teacher. And then if they enter student, we will say students do not get keys. Oops. Okay, students do not get keys. And then they also want this else for the last, which catches all. So we handle a situation where they enter a value other than that. So if they put in anything else, secretary or just smash in random letters, then we're just gonna tell them that's not a valid option. So if they type in anything other than those three, we print this message. All right, now notice though, there's only two options here. They get keys or they don't. So this one's easy. We're just gonna say student, right? That's exactly what we typed here, all right? However, up here, administrators and teachers get keys. So uh, you might be tempted to go this, and this. However, there's two things wrong with this. Um, we want this to get called if either one is true. It's not possible that they enter both administrator and teacher at the same time. Um, even if they entered both in a long string, then neither would be true because it's not exactly this or exactly this. So first of all, we want an or. So if either one is true, they get a key. And the second thing is we can't just have teacher here by itself. That's not a true or false question. So one is, is role equal to this? And the second question is, is role equal to teacher, right? Those are two separate true or false questions. If you want, you could put parentheses around them just to clarify for yourself. Extra parentheses, don't me mess anything up. All right, so now let's go back to run code. Let's try it out teacher. Let's try it out student. Let's try it out octopus. And okay, let's check the code. All is good. Let's submit and continue and go to the next one. All right. Okay, so now we want to determine um, if they're eligible to be president. Okay, so let's go and let's just start along. So ask for their age. So we'll say age equals. Now we don't just want to get an input here. We probably want to turn it into an integer. Okay, then we'll get the exact message here. The exact message is just age. That's an easy one. All right, then it says, um, ask the user if they're a citizen, okay? So citizen equals, and this time we're just getting an input. We don't wanna turn that into a number. This is a yes or no question. So we very clearly ask them a question and in parentheses show them that we're talking about a capital Y and a capital N for yes or no. And then we're gonna ask for years of residency. Okay, so let's call it years resident. And we'll do, this is int input because we want to get an integer number of years that they've been a resident. And then we wanna print some message down here, okay? So we're gonna do if something is true. Now, what are we gonna do? So if l statements to compare, you're eligible to run for president if they have the following. So if they are at least 35 years old, so if, age is greater than or equal to 35, right? So that's, they can be 35 or older, it's at least 35 years old. And they have to have all of these things true at the same time. And were they born in the US? So citizen equals equals capital Y, yes. And the second question, I'm just gonna copy this, years resident is, um, for at least 14 years, so greater than or equal to 14. So that's all of the things that they need to be president. 
and then we're going to say else, and then we print a different message. So one is you are not eligible. That's down here. If they didn't meet all of the requirements, and if they are eligible, we'll print you are eligible. We'll put that right here. Okay. Well, let's just run code and check it. Boom, everything works. Let's go on to the next one. Oh, extended. I think this is optional, but let's do it, okay? So let's extend our last program. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to go back to my other one, and I'm going to just copy it. Since we're just extending this, we don't need to start from scratch. Okay, so I'm going to put this one here. We still ask for the same thing, except now we're handling it in between. So ask the user for their age and tell the user they're too young if they're under, okay? <clears throat> so I'm going to leave, whoops, I'm going to leave that down there. But before I even go to the next thing, I'm simply going to right here say if age is less than 35. That's the opposite of less or greater than or equal to because equal to 35 is okay. Older is okay, but less than is not. Then we're going to print. So um, you are too young. You must be at least. Oh, they print it after the you are not eligible. Okay, so let's do that then. Print. This. So I'm just going to take these two lines and we'll still do all of this at the beginning. And we'll just after we say you are or not eligible, we'll simply say if you aged out, you weren't of age, then we'll print that message. And then we'll just do the others. OK, so you must be born. You're not eligible. So these are the other two messages. I'm just going to paste them down here. We already know the conditions. So this is if um, citizen. And you can write not equal to yes, right? Or you can assume they're going to type in no and say equal equal to no. Then we say, hey, you must be born a citizen. So let's go print and quote enter. All right. And then finally, the last thing is if years resident is not greater than that. So I'm going to copy that and say if you could even just go if not that. That's the opposite of it. I'm going to go ahead and change it myself. And I'm going to say if they're less than 14, if the year's resident is less than 14, then I'm going to print the last message here. <clears throat> okay. Ask the user. Yep. Ask the user. Okay. That should be good. Okay. I was just double checking that everything worked. Let's try it. Boom. Done. All right. So we're done with 4.4. I'm going to make another short video for number five.